Hey everyone, Simon here today with a quick tutorial on how to use Delano, my uh, uh, favorite compatibility software. Why is it my favorite? Because I made it uh, along with our partners um, on how to judge sexual compatibility. Wow, this is a very interesting topic. And it's one that <clears throat> if you were matching couples from 100 years ago or you know several hundred years ago, it's not on top of the list, is it? But these days, for many people, it is. And it's what we call in the app Sizzle. So let's go straight to the app. And for a lot of modern day people, we'll just pull up some celebrities here. I just put these guys in. For a lot of modern day people, it is very important, right? Because in the old days, people used to get married and get together mainly to have children, to have security, to make sure there's someone to take care of you. Uh, but sexual fulfillment wasn't necessarily at the top of the list. At least, um, you know, at least that's what they claimed. Although I'm sure human beings are the same today as they were a few hundred years ago with the same people. So everyone wants uh, fulfillment, right? But at least socially, it was less acceptable to... Uh, ask for it. So in Delano, uh, we look at the totality of the relationship experience. We look at everything from the lens of what I call the modern methods, from the lens of the ancient methods, and distilling all of the data between the two charts, we arrive, we can also dis, uh, create this beautiful brew, which is a um, uh, a measure of the sexual compatibility, what we call sizzle. Now, you'll see that there is a total average score, and there are two components here. The first component is raw sexual chemistry, which measures the raw attraction, that the basic fulfillment you get from making love. For this particular couple, it's in the very good range. Okay, so they're... This is a very nice score to have. Um, the extra juice measures how that stands up in the long term, meaning, okay, you got together, it was mind blowing, it was amazing. Then six months from now, three years from now, five years from now, is it still mind blowing and amazing? That's what the extra juice measures, right? So we try to, we try to get a picture of relationships from the total, from from as a global of perspective as possible, meaning the beginning of the relationship, the middle, and so forth. The only thing that we can't really, uh, or or at least we can, but we don't measure in the sizzle is, is it better for one person or for another? So this is the average of the two experiences. So. If one person absolutely loves the sex life and the other person absolutely hates it, what you'll get is an average score, okay? Because it's going to average the two. So our app as yet doesn't have the nuance to tell you, yeah, person A will love it, person B will hate it. We, we I can, like if I look at two charts, I can tell tell that usually, but it's fairly complex to um, to program. So that's in a future version. But for now, it's the average score. And so this couple has a very nice score, um, definitely respectable. But what they also have is a very nice extra juice score, which means that over the years, and yes, it will come down a little bit, which is normal, right? Um, but overall, it it is likely to sustain. Let's take a look at another <clears throat> famous example. Um this is the example of that I've used before, Joanne Woodward and Paul Newman. So if you look at their sizzle score, you see that their total average is about 14.4, but they have something called best sex of your life check. Now, this will only appear if you qualify for it, if this couple qualifies for it. What does that mean? It means, by the way, look at their raw sexual chemistry, 25. It is literally off the charts. Right. So when these people got together, it was almost um, inevitable, like th they couldn't resist it. Um, now, the extra juice tends to be low. 
However, if you have so much of the raw chemistry, the average is still going to be quite good. So you can see 14.4 is still in the very good range. <clears throat> but it suggests that that initial chemistry uh, that was just off the charts is over the years likely to come down a little bit. But because they're starting from such a high place already, that even though there is, it comes down, it's still compared to most people in the very good range. Okay, so uh, it, I want you to understand these nuances, because when you read this for, for couples, you can tell short term, you can tell, um, you know, medium term, and then the overall kind of bhava, the overall score based on the total average score. Uh, and now the average is, is a special kind of average. It's not just these two added together. There's this, another little calculation that goes into it. So you'll notice that if you add these two, it's not exactly 14.4. Um, it's it's a little bit different. So um, <clears throat> now, if you see this check mark, okay, it is very difficult to get the check mark. You will notice most relationships will not have it. So if a relationship does have it, then it is a sign, especially if you're just interested in dating or casual, it is a sign of potentially best sex of your life. The kind that when you become an adult, you kind of talk about it. Oh, yeah, I had this boyfriend or I had this girlfriend. And <clears throat> yeah, we didn't work out. But oh, my God, it was amazing. Right. And everyone deserves to have that in their life. It's at some point to be able to, you know, to feel what's possible. And of course, it's not everything, but it, it does factor into uh, relationships. So just having just having this doesn't mean your relationship is going to work out or or anything like that. This is just for um, for sexuality. But of course, as we know, this couple has five stars all across the board, pretty much, which is extremely rare, right? <laughs> extremely rare. So you got yes here, yes here. Everything is basically off the charts. This is very rare. So if you see this, you know, you're doing it for yourself. You find someone on a dating app and you put in their info and you see this, go for it. <laughs> you know, um, don't hesitate. Um, by the way, we, we will be creating our own dating app very soon using these technologies, right? Using these metrics. And to help you and, and others and your clients and uh, people out there find people that they're actually compatible with, people that you are, um, that you can talk to, you know, that you, it's not going to feel awkward. It's not going to feel weird. And by the way, texting is not talking, right? A lot of people get to know each other and they start texting and it's cool. It's witty. Ah, ha, ha. You're so funny. And then they get together and it's like, oh, okay. Uh, so where do you work? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Right. There's no connection. Texting, talking via phone, even over zoom cannot translate, does not translate into chemistry. You can only tell chemistry in two ways, actually meeting a person or looking at the charts. And this is what we've tried to do. So by looking at the two charts, you can predetermine whether or not you're going to have chemistry with someone to a pretty good extent. Now, here is another example of uh, a sizzle chart. This is Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Now, of course, you may say, why do we use celebrities? Well, because they are well known and um, it they put themselves in the public I obviously uh I would never use private clients unless we had their permission and even then we would blur out their names but here is a, another example of a famous couple that starts off very strongly uh in the very good range right 12.1 but then you see that over time it actually deteriorates and probably fairly quickly because there's no extra juice and so their total average score then is in the low range, believe it or not. So while their relationship may have started with high sexual energy, right, it's in the very good range. Over time, and I would say fairly quickly, it would, um, it would not turn out so well. So 
again, this isn't everything, um, but this is a good first analysis of um, of a relationship. So um, there you go. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials. And if you would like a tour of Delano or a tutorial or a, uh, a session with a certified trained Delano expert, we just finished our uh, specialty training. You can check out the, uh, the links below to uh, certified Delano trainers, teachers, and consultants, and, um, and feel free to contact them for a reading so you could see um, how to unlock the full power of the software and analyze any couple for any kind of relationship, even uh, friendship, love, business, uh, mother, daughter, father, son, et cetera. All right. Thank you, guys. That's it for today. And next time, we'll look at um, another aspect of Delano. All the best.